everybody, welcome to Board Online, Board Offline. Today we're bringing you an unboxing of Neanderthal. Now this is a game from Phil Eklund, a lot like my previous two unboxing, well, one of my previous unboxings was from Phil Eklund, the other one was from Matt Eklund, but from the Eklunds are where all these unboxings have come from recently. Uh, Neanderthal is one where you are really just focusing in on developing, I, I think, this, the, like the, the skills and the the uh, even the ability to to communicate of a one of the one of three different species of humanoids back at the beginning of, of the earth uh, homo sapiens and then neanderthal and and one other one in there i can't remember which one it is so this is a really interesting game also of interest is the fact that it can be combined with greenland to make some sort of combined game there and I'm not sure how that works. I'm very interested to do that. I, uh, I'm going to be bringing a gameplay of Neanderthal uh, to you at some point. But I think when I do that, I might do the combined version of Greenland and Neanderthal. I don't know. We'll have to see how that works exactly. See if it's worth doing it that way uh, on a video. Now, I do want to mention our sponsor, Board Game Co. This is a fantastic website where you can buy, sell, and trade games. If you trade games over there, they can link into your Board Game Geek account, see what games they have that you want and what games you have that they want, and help set up a trade that way. They've got a great value system over there that makes it re really easy to do. You can sell games to them, and you, of course, can buy games. Neanderthal is actually over there on their website for $28.98 right now. So they have a great uh, great selection of games with great prices. Be sure to check out Board Game Co. They make it easy to buy, sell, and trade your way into a better collection. Okay, let's get down to the table. I'm going to show you what comes in the box for Neanderthal. All right, we've got Neanderthal 2nd Edition, a game of the origins of culture for one to three players. All right, so back here, let's see, one to three players, ages 12 plus, one to two hours. Okay. Now, this is, of course, a Phil Eklund game, which are, all his games are notoriously complex. But once you get past that learning curve, well, so far I've only played one of his games. I've played Pax Emancipation. It is on my top solo games of all time, and uh, it's going to be an upcoming year and my top favorite games of all time. I'm assuming that I just got a hold of Neanderthal, Greenland, and Pax Humanity, or Pax Transhumanity, which Pax Transhumanity is actually a Matt Eklund game, but I'm very excited to get into these and see if they live up to how much fun I've had with Pax Emancipation. All right, so here's the rule book. Again, the rule books for these games, you're going to want to download the living rule book. Let's see, so probably... Probably 44 pages here for the actual rules. But you're going to, want to get a living rule book, which is where the, the rules are kind of uh, streamlined, not, not streamlined, but they are clarified and um, adjusted to maybe make a little bit more sense. And, and so definitely download the living rule books anytime you get one of these Eklund games. Okay, so... Now, Neanderthal supposedly can be combined with Greenland, and I'm seeing right here, these are components that are the same as the Greenland game. So I'm interested, well, let's get down to the rule book real quick, and then we'll come back to some of these components. Let's see, rule book, rule book, rule book. Oh, what am I talking about? <laughs> rule book's right here, I already passed it. All right, so... Orange disc. So in this case, orange disc, social words. White disc represent nature words. Black disc represent technical words. All right. So whereas before these were, I think, energy, ivory, and iron, uh, this is all about learning language, I guess, is what it sounds like. So let's open them up. They probably should be probably going to be exactly the same type of component as in Greenland. So yeah, they are kind of a plastic, I just lost one on the ground, a plastic uh, disc here. You can see there's some sort of design on there. All right, we've got these green translucent dice here. All right, really, really nice dice. I do like these dice a lot. 
uh, feel just the same as the Greenland dice, but uh, they feel like they'll ro roll really nice and they have a good, just the overall good feel to them. So we got in here again, very similar components. I mean, that's the same. Only have three colors here, uh, red, yellow, and green. But just as with Greenland, you do have the one large guy here well, with the rest of them. Are, they, are these tribesmen? Yeah, they are tribesmen as well. All right, elders, husbands, hunters. Okay. All right. Event. Daughter. Housewife, generous woman, okay. We've got big man victory points, harem holding, pair bonding, promiscuous, harem holding. Oh wait, so big man VP, family values VP, okay. Family values, pair bonding, Selfish gene, promiscuous, promiscuous, and harem holding. Okay. We've got more events here. Fashion woman, grieving woman. Okay. South Row, Alpine Ibex, European Ass, Sabertooth Salmon, Fallow Deer, Auroch, Flint Mine, Tree Goose. The North Row, we've got Arctic Flounder, Alpine Marmot, Sturgeon, Carcass, Willow, Ptarmigan. Here's the, the key for all the different iconography. Glossary of tribesmen rolls. There's the statistics table. Uh, some achievements for you. All right, and then we've got vocal archaic man. And you see a lot of this is, like I said, it's all about developing your culture here, like literally from the ground, from like, from zero speech almost. Um, so, fire starter, trapper, napper, it's turn phases. Okay. Then you got vocal Cro Magnon, Homo sapiens. And vocal Neanderthal. All right. All right, so there you go. That's everything that comes in the box for Neanderthal. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Be sure to click that bell so you know every time I have a new video come out. And uh, also check the link links in the description below for various ways you can support the channel as well. And until next time, if you're bored online, bored offline.